I've seen many theists ask atheists the following question. If you don't believe in a God, do you also not believe in an afterlife? You know, heaven and hell, where do you go when you die then? Really? Think about that question very carefully, Mr. Theist. Take your time with it and really, really think about it. Heaven and hell, afterlife. Have you seen any proof whatsoever over the course of your life to suggest that a heaven and hell actually exists? Afterlife? What proof do you have for that? Because it says so in the Bible? A book? Really? Just think about it. You believe in a place where you will spend an infinite period of time as a conscious being infinite just think about that no end at all in sight whatsoever forever and ever 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 forever ever to top it off you also have no problem in designing your life down here on earth around the fear that you might end up burning in hell for all of eternity forever ever let me make this easy on you, Mr. Theist. Atheists don't believe in fairy tales or the supernatural. We believe that when you die, you're dead, pretty much. You know, there's nothing else going on there. You closed your eyes, you breathed your last breath, and it's all gone. It's you laid to rest, and you know that's it. We don't roam around as ghosts. You don't ascend to a place where you will spend eternity wandering around with seemingly no purpose. And, look, I know I say no purpose. But I've heard a lot of theists say that they will spend eternity worshipping the Lord. Really? You live for 70 years on a planet where you deny yourself a lot of things. Because your religion forbids it. You then receive the ultimate prize. Everlasting life in heaven. And you're going to spend that forever, ever, 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 forever, ever, singing to the person that made you suffer for 70 years on earth? Hmm. It sounds shitty to me. I'm sorry. So yes, us atheists believe in nothing like that. We believe that once your eyes close for the last time, that's it. You know, you're dead, no more consciousness, no more dreams, no more life. And here's the best part, it's 100% fine with me. Why, may you ask? Because right now, unlike you, I'm completely free. I live my life by my rules and my rules only. Obviously bound to a certain degree by the rules set by my government. You know, and laws prohibiting me from harming others. But... I'm not bound to religious shackles. I can do whatever the hell I want without fear of persecution when I finally close my eyes for the last time. I love my wife and my children unconditionally. I love my family as if it will be the last time I will ever see them again. I laugh like there's no tomorrow and I wake up every morning asking myself what can I do today to make my life and the life of my immediate family better while I'm still here I therefore live in the present I take in this world's wonder around every single corner my eyes are open for all possibilities not just the ones that a God wants me to have but all possibilities here and now is where I stay, and every second of my little insignificant life counts to me. I have one consciousness, just one, and while I have it, I want to experience all I can before I finally die. And naturally, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of dying slowly and having too much time to think about my life and all the things that I may have missed. Um time spent on things that maybe wasn't all that productive um, I don't I don't want to die painfully 
Um, I said, I don't do pain very well, and I don't want my family to be sad for me while I'm waiting to die. But death itself, the never-ending prospect of never living again, I'm not afraid of that at all. If I had a genie, you know, my one only wish would be that, you know, my death would come swift, you know, quick, painless. But, you know, as we all know, that's too much to ask. I'm already proud of my accomplishments, my children and my wife. I'm proud of being a man my son wants to emulate. I'm proud of being a man that my wife actually wants to be with. Many people on this earth don't have the chance to experience something like that. I did and I still do. And I probably cherish it a lot more than you, Mr. Theist. Because your eyes are always fixated on a prize. While my prize is already here. With me. Given to me. It's life. I live mine. Now. I don't live for a day down the line that you don't even know is going to come for real I like it that way